good YouTube it's your boy Blue Blood Sports TV back at y'all with another one so two division world champion turned colorful analyst for ESPN and top rank Timothy Desert Storm Bradley he weighs in on undefeated rising Mexican superstar title contender King Rob Ryan Garcia and undefeated unified WBA WBO IBF ring magazine and WBC franchise lightweight world champion superstar Bassa Tiafimo Lopez now saying that they are willing to fight undefeated WBC lightweight world champion superstar Bassa Devin and Dream Haney. He says after they have seen what they believe is chinks in the armor of Devin Haney in his last fight against three division world champion Jorge Linares after Devin Haney, he dominated the first 10 rounds, but at the end of the 10th round, Devin Haney was clipped in the last five seconds in a five-punch combination, and the last right hand got in and clipped Devin Haney and buzzed him, and he just made sure he secured the victory in the 11th and 12th round uh, when he was tying up, wasn't taking any chances. And so now, uh, Teofimo Lopez, he says that he wants to fight Devin Haney in his next fight, uh, and then Ryan Garcia saying he would knock out uh, Devin Haney should he fight him after that performance. So with that said, Timothy Bradley has some very, very choice words for uh, uh, both guys, Teofimo Lopez and Ryan Garcia. OK, uh, Ryan Garcia, you know, he's undefeated. Uh, he had his first step up fight against Luke Campbell, Olympic gold medalist, British superstar, title contender. Luke Campbell, in which he was flawed in the second round of that fight. Now, he ultimately got the stoppage in the seventh round, but he was flawed in the second round. He was dropped in the second round, and Luke Campbell is not seen as a very, very big puncher, okay? So, to be dropped by Luke Campbell speaks volumes. After Jorge Linares, he dominated Luke Campbell, okay? Uh, Ryan Garcia, 21 wins, no losses, no draws, 18 wins by way of knockout. He's 22 years of age, stands at 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach, okay? Uh, so uh, he's 22. Devin Haney is also 22 years of age, okay? Uh, so, like I said, in his step up fight against Luke Campbell, he was flawed and dropped in that fight. And he was happy to tell the world that, well, he survived, you know, he faced adversity and he survived it. Tiafima Lopez, 16 wins, no losses, no draws. 12 wins by way of knockout. He's 23 years of age, stands at 5'8 with a 68-inch arm reach, okay? Uh, Tiafimo Lopez, you know, now he has fought a uh, better opposition. He's fought uh, Nakatani, uh, then he fought Richard Komei, then he fought Vasil Lomachenko, Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, and he was the unified lightweight world champion, and he was considered to be top two pound-for-pound -pound best fighters in the world. So, you know, uh, with that said, he has faced uh, some good opposition. But as Timothy Bradley stating, these guys wouldn't even mention Devin Haney's name. Devin Haney, 26 wins, no losses, no draws. 15 wins by way of knockout. 22 years of age, stands at 5 foot 8 with a 71 inch arm reach, okay? And uh, Timothy Bradley is saying, these guys wouldn't even mention Devin Haney's name, let alone say that they would uh, commit to fighting him. He says, now Tiafima Lopez and now Ryan Garcia have a lot to say regarding Devin Haney and that they, he said, Ryan Garcia is saying he'll knock him out. He says, Ryan Garcia needs to go somewhere. And uh, let's just listen to what Timothy Bradley had to say regarding uh, uh, these two gentlemen. Oh, wait, you, got, you got Garcia, Ryan Garcia, and all these guys talking. Oh, I would have slept you. I would have, man, shut up. You weren't talking none of that stuff when you didn't see any part of Billy in this man. Nobody was calling out Devin Haney. So you heard what he said, right? Uh, let's listen to what he had to say. Again. Oh, boy, the more fighter you got. You got Garcia, Ryan Garcia, and all these guys talking to him. Oh, I would have slept you. I would have. Man, shut up. You weren't talking none of that stuff when you didn't see any part of Billy in this man. Nobody was calling on Devin Haney you when, you know, before uh, the, the Little Rars fight. Nobody. Not Tao, not, not Garcia. Nobody wanted to fight uh, Devin Haney. So you heard what Timothy Bradley had to say. Some very choice words for Tiafimo Lopez and Ryan Garcia. He says, 
neither one of these guys wanted to fight Devin Haney. Devin Haney has been calling out both of these guys for quite some time, okay? Uh, Devin Haney was at Ryan Garcia's fight with Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell, Ryan Garcia fight was for the mandatory uh, position to fight Devin Haney in the next fight. Ryan Garcia won the fight. He stated that he wanted to fight undefeated two-division world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis in his next fight, and that didn't come to fruition. And he told uh, Devin Haney while he was, uh, after he got out the ring, while Devin Haney was ringside, he got out and went face-to-face -face with Devin Haney, and he told Devin Haney if the fight between himself and Javante Tank Davis don't come to fruition, then he was going to fight Devin Haney. Well, the fight didn't come to fruition. He started to tell the people uh, that he was on the verge of fighting legendary eight-division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, who Timothy Bradley fought three times. And then that proved not to be true. And Manny Pacquiao's team, that they stated that uh, they would take legal actions if he continued to tell the world that uh, he was on the verge of a, a fight with Manny Pacquiao, which was completely not true. Then you had his promoter, uh, legendary sixth division world champion, Olympic gold medalist turned uh, promo, uh, promoter and CEO of Golden Boy Promotions, Oscar De La Hoya. He stated it wasn't true as well. So then he was uh, lined up and signed to fight Javier Fortuna. Javier Fortuna is Devin Haney mandatory, and they decided to fight each other instead of fighting Devin Haney, okay? So uh, Ryan Garcia, that was scheduled for July 9th. Then Ryan Garcia, he pulled out the fight with Javier Fortuna as well, and he cited health issues, okay? So he was on the verge of fighting Devin Haney. He was the mandatory, and the fight could have easily been made. They both fight on the zone, and he chose to, step, to tell the world that Devin Haney was boring and hadn't fought anybody. Well, Devin Haney, he beat Yoriokis Gamboa, and then he beat uh, Jorge Linares, who beat Luke Campbell, okay? So two guys are three-division world champions. Luke Campbell has never been a world champion. Now, he's fought for a world title, but he's never become a world champion. L Jorge Linares beat Luke Campbell, and Yoriokis Gamboa is a three-division world champion. Then you had Teofimo Lopez, who Devin Haney has been calling out, because Devin Haney says, I'm the, man, I'm the WBC champion. You're not undisputed. So let's fight, and we could clarify who's undisputed, okay? Tiafima Lopez, according to legendary promoter, top-ranked CEO and promoter, promoter of Tiafima Lopez, Bob Arum, Tiafima Lopez chose to fight his IBF mandatory challenger in George Cambosis Jr., who's an undefeated Australian star boxer, in his next fight, where this fight could have been Tiafima Lopez, according to Bob Arum. He stated that the IBF would not have stood in the way of Tiafima Lopez versus Devin Haney. Now, we know that Bob Arum, he stated he didn't truly want to do business with Matchroom, Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn. That's Devin Haney's co-promoter, okay? Uh, so, with that said, it was a possibility that we could have got Devin Haney and uh, Tiafima Lopez right now. So, uh, Tiafima Lopez, he'd rather tell the world he's undisputed instead of facing Devin Haney. Now, in recent uh, interviews, Tiafima Lopez did state now that he'll fight Devin Haney uh, and that, that's what his next fight, he wants that to be his next fight if it wasn't going to be uh, undefeated junior welterweight, undisputed world champion Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor is going to fight Jack, Co Jack Cottrell uh, in his next fight in the UK, so it's not going to be Josh Taylor. And then Josh Taylor, he has plans to move up to the full welterweight limit and challenge the last undisputed junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Terrence Bud Crawford, okay? Uh, so... That's not going to happen with Josh Taylor. And Josh Taylor, he continues to tell Tiafima Lopez publicly, you got unfinished business at lightweight to officially become undisputed by fighting Devin Haney. I'm not fighting you till you fight Devin Haney and prove that you officially undisputed at lightweight. Okay? So, Timothy Bradley, he got frustrated with Devin, uh, with Tiafima Lopez and Ryan Garcia, all this talk. And especially Ryan Garcia because he definitely was in position. He was the mandatory challenger. There is no promotional uh, gap because, yeah, he's with Golden Boy, but they both fight on the same network and the same platform in the zone. So it's easier fight to make. He became Devin Haney's mandatory challenger, and Devin Haney was well uh, and open to fighting Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia, well, he moved maneuver around fighting Devin Haney. Said Devin Haney need to fight better opposition, and Devin Haney need to look more impressive. Same sentiments Teofimo Lopez he uttered. When he said, when uh, Devin Haney was saying, let's fight for Undisputed. 
Now, Timothy Bradley, he says, uh, Tiafima Lopez and Ryan Garcia, both flat-footed fighters. Devin Haney is very rangy. He's a quick boxer, and he will not fight them in the same manner he fought Jorge Linares in the pocket. And they know that. He said they both know that he won't fight both the, the, either guy who have very slow feet and are flat-footed. He won't fight them in the pocket. So they are going to have to corner him and look for him. He's a pure boxer who's very rangy and probably has the best jab in boxing, is what Timothy Bradley had to say. He says, I believe Ron, uh, Devin Haney has the best jab in boxing. He's very fluid. He's a pure boxer. He has respectable power. Uh, and he's very he has a high ring IQ, but he's very quick on his feet. He has very quick and educated footwork. And he says they know that that's going to be a huge problem for them. He's not going to stand in the pocket and give them opportunities in the same manner he did Jorge Linares and breaking Jorge Linares down. As Timothy Bradley stated, he broke Jorge Linares down. He made a slight mistake and he paid for it. But ultimately, he won the fight in uh, running away. He said it was an impressive outing. Don't let the, what took place in the last uh, few seconds of the 10th round uh, fool you into believing that, you know, uh, he, he's vulnerable. So he says these both, both these guys think he's vulnerable. Now they're boasting and bragging, talking about their fight him when neither guy would make mention of his name, which is very true. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D B C. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.